Hey everybody, Omega Golden Plays Civilization 6 Gathering Storm continues with our Pachacuti of Inca playthrough. We just eliminated Scotland last time, and we are readying ourselves for uh, the initial invasion of the Zulu Empire. The Zulu. Not looking like they have a ton of uh, military presence, but they are the second highest on the scoreboard, which means we have a lot to gain here, I think. And... We are going to be able to start making use of uh, of bombers. We've got one that we purchased, and then we've got another on the way in a few turns. Uh, so with bombers out here, we're going to be able to take down walls a lot quicker than we were before. We're also working our way towards uh, the top tier rocket artillery, which is uh, three techs away. So our ability to bring down walls is going to drastically improve over the course of the next like 10 turns or so which is going to be nice just you, you have to remember that our builders our builders crossed the world they circumnavigated the globe and they discovered that the incan terrace farm is the cream of the crop there is none better than the terrace farm uh one thing we do need over here, by the way, is, like, a drone or something. Any sort of unit to, that can give us more vision would be nice, but, like, I, I feel like a drone probably makes the most sense. We've got a drone here. How far can you fly, by the way? If you were to air attack... It's saying you, you'd be able to help us in this area, so I'm not too concerned. We can, we can just have you a, kind of attack whatever we're attacking. Let me rebase you to be up here. Ah, oh, now, now we actually have some vision of a cross, so that'll give us more targets, which is good. What I'd really like, you know, I'd like to see all these cities, basically. So that we can do our proper bombing runs on them. You know what's really paying off is... Um, Goddess of the Fire? What, what's it called? Religion. Fire Goddess. Yeah, yeah. Plus two faith from geothermal fissures and volcanic soil. We have a lot of both of those things. More volcanic soil than the other, but... Uh, yeah, that's uh, it's helping out tremendously. So we're not... We need to skip another turn, so let's get you closer... Um, I guess we'll just keep you down here. I'll move you. Oh, wait. You have to be close enough to give us sight lines. So our boy can fire at this, probably. Although, he might need to move up a space to be able to fire now that I look at it. I ha Peace be with you and also to you, Zulu. And then, you know what follows that statement? A war declaration. Not from here, though. It happens over here in the Casus Belli, where George yells colonial war, and we get this thing started. Half the usual, 25%. No, so you want half the usual. I, I don't know if any of these things are balanced in a way where <clears throat> the initial grievance cost um, doesn't fully represent the the rest of it but it seems like it does like it, if you just look at the number of grievances this is going to cause i think overall you can just say it's your forgot. best option what it seems like they could balance that a little differently and let have like a you know a worse reason for going to war but maybe less ramifications overall versus having a very strong reason to go for war that's very limited i think they do have I think one of the wars is only maybe about... I guess, like, the, the city-state one is about protecting the city-state in particular, maybe restoring the city-state. So some of them are very specific, but I, I kind of feel like they could have done a little more with that. Give you different options, more options. Some of them, you know, maybe they have a higher initial cost, but they pay off more overall. I don't know. Just Just spitballing here. So we are still all about that gold lifestyle, I believe. 
Let's do a Bursa trade. Bursa seems to be our go-to right now for for quality trade deals. Trade deals we can live with. Let's get a spot. So thank you for that. Uh, Berta is what the he's the Bursa is the Ottomans, right? Yes. So thank you, my Ottoman friends, for being a good trade partner. I definitely appreciate it. In these trying times, you know, we need the income. And you're out there providing it for us. See, this is interesting. Uh, based on, I guess, this map type, this tile is, is counted as being in a, you know, floodlands type of deal. Or a, a, a low coast where this could actually flood it. Whereas normally I don't think any lakes, unless they happen to touch, touch the coast itself, I don't think any sort of lake tile in a standard map seed uh, would do that to you. They've got a commercial hub over here that we could trash if we felt like trying to steal some money. With them having a bank and a market, I could see us uh, looting the bank and then leaving the market. So that once we get it, we can still add another trade route into our our situation. All right, so we have to we have to put you in harm's way to be able to fire. All right, we we need to move this. Uh, let's move you up one tile so that we get the vision again. It's surprisingly bad how how bad the battleship vision is not even being able to see your own attack range when your attack range isn't something like just absolutely incredible i mean you know three tiles is great i gotta say but not being able to see your attack distance when it's only three tiles is a, is a little weird i will pillage your government district because this thing has no use to me once we capture your city so i might as well just get all the benefit from that that we can <coughs> we have one more ah there he is it's like we have one more artillery somewhere in here let me see i need to get you to this side or you could go over here whichever whatever floats your boat I'm going to leave you here for now. We'll figure it out next turn. All right, what's there for us to uh, to destroy? Also, are you building an Eiffel Tower here? You are. You are building an Eiffel Tower. All right, Spec Ops, where do you want to go? Is there any place safe for you to pair drop in and get up to no good? It looks like the cities are all kind of too close to each other for you to... Have like a spot where you could sit there and just be a jerk. Also, dropping you behind enemies' lines like that seems like it'd be a, kind of a dangerous thing for us to do to you. I'm gonna drop you over here. And then I'm gonna drop you over here with your other buddy and you guys are gonna get up to some shenanigans together. I feel like you guys, you know, you've been a team for this whole time. There's no reason to break that up. You guys are doing excellent work. More flooding has taken place you have one build there's there's definitely like opportunities for here let's let's go get more oil also actually you know what cancel your moves we're gonna have you repair and then and then maybe get some oil oh this this tile can't have a have one of these bad boys on it, so it can't be as as nice looking, as yieldful. I guess let's uh, just farm, re-farm this area. Okay, air attack. We gotta be careful that I don't misclick on something. Let's have you join in on our main target. <coughs> Excellent work. I'm liking what I'm seeing already. We've got good times ahead. 
Let's go ahead and buy this uh, aluminum. Our aluminum situation is pretty good, but we want to make sure that it uh, it remains at full steam. We don't want to be running out of aluminum in the future. We're going to need aluminum for our bombers. I refuse your demand. Mm -hmm. A little tornado there. Cute little tornado. Mission failed. Was that our... Was that our good boy? Was that our best boy? Okay, it wasn't our best boy. He was... He was trying to cause a little loyalty swing. If it was our... Our, our champion of stealing money, I was going to be very disappointed. Because he's supposed to be bringing back, like... A few grand for us. That's the hope, at least. That's the squad goal right there. Excuse me. Can attack after moving. Don't mind if I do. Let me go ahead and pillage this for a little loot. Give me the loot. Give me the loot. Alright, you... You can take a shot and then pillage this, right? We can get a little... If you don't read the newspaper... A little juicy action from you. You could move out of the way too, but he's firing at this destroyer. Actually, he might not even be able to see you over here. I, I don't fully understand how camouflage works. Um, whether you have to be... Because it, it seems like there are times when the, the enemy can see me two tiles away. And then it seems like there are times where it can't see me two tiles away. And there may be other factors involved in that that I'm, I just don't notice at the time. But it's definitely one of those things where I've had um, somewhat dubious results. Not bad results, but, you know, questionable at times. He almost made it the full length of what the game said he was going to be able to do. And I, I consider that a new record. Impressive. Alright, we're gonna help with Baba Nongo over here. So drop in, my friend, and prepare to start shooting them from across the way. Because that is how we're gonna get things done. My bomber friend, continue to assist us. Oh, look at that. We might be able to sweep in and take this if we hit him with the... The tank doesn't have the distance to get in there to help us. So next turn, we got this one. Next turn, it's under control. 30 gold from Bandar Brunei? I think... I think one production and one food is worth 5 gold for this city. Perhaps. When you play as the, uh... When you play as Molly, you're giving up one production for... Four... Uh, four gold, so that seems like you could maybe label that as the exchange rate Of a value one production equals uh, four gold, but what does one food equal? One food is a more question heart of Germany practically yeah, brother. stopped beating Rural Valley is here hardly anyone worked hardly anything ran I think one food is the one of those things of where the, the value is highly dependent on the size of your city the rest of the country because when you're a small city, one piece of food matters a lot. When you're a big you city, one, one piece isn't uh, isn't that big of a deal in the grand scheme of things. Grants three oil per turn. Your trade routes gain plus two gold for each strategic. Dude, I'm all about this trading for gold lifestyle, so... We're, we're working towards making ourselves feel like Molly right now. I know in the earlier part of this uh, this series, I accidentally started it off saying we were playing... Uh, we were playing Molly, but now it actually kind of feels like it. Gotcha. The, the next thing that's going to really help us out in this uh, in this combination we've got going is... Getting our uh, fascism and then getting the, the 
the government building that lets us, uh... Let's see, let's move you into here. Where's our drone at? Hello, drone. Uh, getting the, getting the government building upgrade that every time you kill a unit, you restore, like, 20 health. That will help out a lot. Alright, let's see. You, you still have more to pillage here. We haven't completely ruined the government experience. And there it goes. It's gone now. It's done. Plus, there's three oil per turn here to be acquired. I'm loving that. Oh, man. He's maxed out. We need to give him a custom name now. Can we give him a... The Winding Blades? The Walking Runners? He, they are the walking runners. That's what they are. This, they're moving at such a, a swift pace, but they still are walking. But they'll still beat you in a foot race. That's how fast they are. They're, they're so quick. It's really quite impressive. Give me my flood barrier, please. I guess, uh... We have 5,000 gold again. Let me buy you a monument. Let me buy you a granary. You know, those basic tier things we can just straight up buy. We got the money. We're gonna buy bombers with the rest of it, though. Let's start repairing a bank after the... Defenses. And then... I don't know what you're really going to need. We'll just queue up a few things because you're not going to... It's not going to matter too much. All right, let's go ahead and purchase more bombers. We're going to get another bomber next turn. And then we'll be able to buy another one in, in like three turns if uh, if we don't go spending all our money on other stuff. I, I make no promises there. All right, you're ready for this. And now he's lost his government. And if he builds it somewhere else, that just gives us the opportunity to go smash it again. Without worrying about uh, the ramifications of smashing a district. Because there are none. None for us, at least. Alright, we're going to have you work on Flood Barrier, followed by repairing your defenses than a monument. A monument to how great we are and how how much we deserve this land. Alright, you gotta continue stealing because the the pot is just too juicy over here to walk away from. We might get our hands caught in the honey jar. Uh, but it'll have been worth it regardless. Like, even if that guy gets caught, he's already... He's already made us something like six to nine thousand by himself. The other one, the other spy, obviously, got one of the, the things for us, so... But they're doing great things. I'm proud of them. Very pleased with the situation that has presented itself. Okay, let's put you... Up here. We can move you We'll move you up for now. We'll figure out where to send you momentarily, but I want to get my artillery into place. I want to have you Our general is in range of all of you right now, so that's good. Begin shelling these walls, man. You need to heal. Dude, I got a sneeze coming up. I can I can feel it, but I think, uh, I think this is one I'm going to be able to overpower with human will. The strength of will. Oh yeah, help us out, my friend. Thank you for that. Two bombers here. Can you guys reach? Let's see. You can't reach what we're fighting. You can't see this place, so. Let's go for this size 11, boy. The size 11 boy. 
We'll get this thing uh, warmed up over here. Dude, you need more housing. Your housing situation. It's ridiculous. I don't actually need the housing, though. Like, what am I going to do with it? But I guess we can build... We can build a sewer to try to help ourselves out. And then we can get a stock exchange. To get start bringing in more cash money, man. Alright. You continue to build... This city is at full capacity for... Airports, you don't continue to build it. Even, I thought maybe we could get more, but... I guess that means you you move on to getting your airport. Hangar. And then the hangar will let us have more... Bombers there. And then everything will be beautiful. You could use more housing. I think... Oh yeah, we were looking at maybe... Maybe doing an aqueduct... In this location as well, I think. The amount of nice aqueduct plus terrace farm setups we have is really just making my day. Speaking of making my day, uh, well, it may not make today, but I'm sure it's gonna be it's gonna be a highlight when it happens. And that's uh, as of today, the new the new Breaking Bad movie has been released on Netflix. I haven't I haven't seen it yet. I don't know when I'm going to see it, but it's going to be soon for sure. I don't need a sewer. I don't know. I just queued it up cuz it was there. But it just seems inappropriate at this uh, at the current place and time that that we're living in. So I'm going to pass on it. If we drop a commercial hub up here, What would we put next to it to try to make life better for ourselves? You know what? Maybe we'll just do something simple like a, uh, a commercial hub and a theater, even though, you know, the theater's not going to have much of, much or any adjacency. Uh, it doesn't matter. It'll, it'll all be fine. It'll all work out in the end. Okay, let's, let's put you over here. We don't need you up within firing range of the defenses that'd be a uh, just a strategically flawed maneuver okay we'll cross over checking out our territory our options in this area using our recon units the walking runners are out there you know what the walking runners got a name you get a name as well the nomadic watch no the Wild Scouts. The Sharp Jackets. Oh, these are the Thundering Boys. They had to go back and forth voting on the name for a bit, but they landed on Thundering Boys. Which is not a statement I'd ever think I'd have said in my life until now, but here you have it. You landed on the Thundering Boys. Claim a great person. Who do we have? Mary Shelley. Frankenstein is here. It looked like we also might have had enough to purchase uh, a scientist if we were wanting it, right? Gained 400 science for each rainforest tile. There's, there's plenty of opportunity for that, but we're just going to get it on our own. And we'll probably blast them, like, in here. Or actually, this looks like the... This is optimal right here. Drop it right in the... Oh, wait, no, this is a forest, not a rainforest. I thought we had... Excuse me. I thought we had a perfect setup for it. Instead, we just have a very nice setup for it. But you don't go crazy about very nice. You gotta save that enthusiasm for those perfect days. Alright, get a lighthouse, please. You should get your water mill as well at some point. You're going to need more housing up there. No doubt about it. Okay, we're picking up more oil. What's our oil situa situation like? We're at a, a net positive of 8 per turn, it looks like. And then with this in there, it might be 11 per turn. They don't update the yields until the next turn, from what I remember. 
All right, you have a you have a charge. Let's go over here to the uranium. You've done some fixing up of tiles, which we're very impressed with. <laughs> oh, we can upgrade you to a machine gun soon. Lovely. That'll round things out nicely. I think we need to send one bomber after you, and thank luckily we have one bomber available, and only one. And then that allows my tank to rush in here. And claim this good city. With some more oil available to us, which we obviously love. Helicopter armies. Let's see. We can definitely have the helicopter army fight right here. We could also potentially... This man might be in bombing range. He's just outside of bombing range. We, we should take the opportunity to bomb walls more than anything else in either of these. Bombing walls, I think, is... Oftentimes going to be the best use of the bomber. Alright, good job. Let's take our drone over. Let's bring our general... The helicopter counts as modern, right? It's not beyond... It's not like... Information. It's atomic! Oh, okay. So it's not... It's not actually getting any benefit from... Uh, from this. I think maybe the artillery armies and the field cannons are the only things getting benefit from our, our great general at the moment. So... It might be... In the near future, time to retire the man. But I'm not too concerned. His benefits is just, it's getting another cavalry, which is not what I would consider a worthwhile endeavor at the, at the present moment. All right, the Thundering Boys, let's get them up into the thick of it. <laughs> the walking runners almost took down a battleship fleet. Another turn and they'll take it down. They're so strong. They can just absolutely dominate. Want to make sure that those guys are hanging out again. Mary Shelley, let's drop off Frankenstein, I please. The wretch. What? Rapa Nui? No, Vilnius? Vilnius. How dare you? Don't make me buy a troop over here. I might do it. I could buy things with faith. You wouldn't want that. You wouldn't like it one bit. Speaking of buying things with faith, what's, uh... What's the cost of another, like, helicopter army? Well, we can do that. Let's get that out there. This heli helicopters, are they oil or aluminum in this? We have to... have to look at that. Let's see. Aim for the moon. I think they're oil, or aluminum, I mean. But I want to go consult this real quick. Yeah, aluminum. Okay. Just making sure we're on the the same page as the game with regard to uh, the necess the necessary materials. That ended your movement? That's unfortunate. Let's see, let's have you two swap. The general and the drone can occupy the same spot? Why did I think that the general and the drone couldn't occupy the same location? Is it balloons and generals that can't be in the same spot? 
Is that what the difference is? Also, let me put you back here so that you can fire over yonder. Can we, how does this, uh, can we priority target the battleship fleet when it's in the walls? Or does that only let us target other things? How does priority target work? I've used it before. But it's never, it's not letting me go in for the kill. Priority, priority target, does it say in here? No. Spec Ops. Can attack support units directly, so I, I don't get the, the chance to just shoot through at the defender. That would be nice, though. It feels like something Spec Ops should be able to do. They should be able to bypass, like, normal defenses and go for whoever's defending. At least... That's what I'm feeling right now. I'm feeling like Spec Ops should be able to do that. Would that be overpowered? Perhaps. Perhaps not. How many times do you guys use uh, Spec Ops in your day-to-day -day Civ game? I don't use them a ton myself, so... Adding a little more oomph to their special ability might make me... You know, enjoy them a little more. Although, regardless, I am having fun with them. It's not like they have the, the ability of the, uh, the Warwick Ock anymore. So it's, it's not like that's part of, I mean, it is part of it in that it got them a lot of experience, made this a viable strategy to have them, uh, on board, you know? So I guess it's, I don't know. I just think that maybe, just maybe, they could use a little more help. Sometimes we all need a little help, man. Sometimes we all need just a little help. So that's nothing against my friend, the Spec Ops teams. I think they're great. What do we want for our promotion? Um... Probably we want to go down the right side so we can get to the range. Although evasive maneuvers doesn't really help us, so I think we start at box formation. This isn't really going to help us either. Evasive maneuvers might help out more, honestly. I think they're more likely to send out anti-air than they are other things. So priority target would let us kill the military engineer, but... That just feels like a waste. A military engineer is not out there making uh, incredible plays. This intelligence They're not a, they're not a super useful unit. They have made them better by making them work on what dams and other things recently. But Jag förmodar att du bara synar konst är god när den Don't call me a Philistine, Christina. You have anger issues is what I, I'm thinking I see right now. You seem very violent. You always want to throw your book at me. Like, like I've done something wrong. When obviously I've done nothing wrong. There's our great scientist. We know where that great scientist goes, and we also know plunder these trade routes. We, we only got like 130 gold from that. Cowardice. All right, let me use you to kill this person. I'll use... Um, everybody else starts hitting these walls down here. Because this can just be... You know, we can just snag this. Uh, this one's gonna have some loyalty issues, I imagine, once we once we walk right in here. So I might actually save that one for a turn. Uh, I want to try to take two at the same time, just to just to make things easier on us. So let me go ahead and weaken this one. 
Oh, he took some damage. My jet bomber took a little damage. I'm very impressed. He's managed to put up an actual... Honest-to-goodness air defense somewhere. I don't know how he did it. He's stopping a jet bomber. Very, very st strong maneuver, sir. Oh, is it because you have a battleship fleet down here? I think that's the reason. But so far, so good. We've got uh, the Zulu on the ropes. We're moving in. Doing a lot of damage. We could upgrade to a machine gun or we could buy a bomber. I think we upgrade to a machine gun just to make you more viable out here, my friend. We should probably switch policies to the cheaper upgrades once it, uh, our next opportunity to change government's horizons in two turns. Because rocket artillery upgrade is going to be expensive for our three boys. Expensive and worth it, obviously. But still pricey. It might not really be that big a deal because we have another, we have another theft incoming in four turns. We're getting close to 400 gold per turn, which is uh, a pretty decent and respectable number. Unless you're being a jerk about it. It's a, it's a reasonable one, I think. I want to get in here and shoot guys, but it's kind of crowded, so I'm going to keep these guys uh, just back here for now. If they can get in and break stuff over time, that's, you know, that's that's nice. But it's not it's not required in the present moment. We're doing just fine without it. We would do better with it, but uh what can you say? All right, I'm going to queue up the aqueduct before the sewer. That'll make this tile have a little more production value, which is nice. Let's take a look at the charts. I'm leading in science, obviously, with 559 per turn. 248 for the Ottomans. 139 for the Zulu. 151 for Sweden. 150 for Norway. And 156 for Phoenicia. We're getting 228 culture per turn. Sweden's at 139. 179 for the Ottomans. 84 for the Zulu. 143 for the Norse. And 96 for Phoenicia. He's losing Hlobane over here to loyalty, which is kind of a big deal. All right, we, we were saying, like, right here was a decent spot. There's probably a spot that has every tile with a jungle, but there's no reason to be that greedy. So let's just... Have him start running over here. That's going to be the spot that he studies. It's going to get us tons of science. It's going to be beautiful. Uh, but that's going to be it for this one, guys. Well, once we take a look at the score. 15-23 versus Harald's 9-14. Harald is now in second place after we've taken some of Shaka's uh, score away from him in the form of cities and territory. But we're up to 1523. We gained a couple hundred this time. We knocked Shaka down like a hundred. Harald's gaining on his own. He's doing his own things. That's fine. He'll get smacked down later. Culture, kind of irrelevant. Still two capitals, still two religion. And Christina is at 12, which I believe is the same as the last time we checked in on her. She'll be handled. She'll be handled. No doubt about it. Just like the Zulu will be handled. Except the Zulu are going to be handled a little faster. Because we're, we're at their doorstep right now. Which is going to be our doorstep in the near future. Anyway, that's going to be it for this one. Like the video if you're enjoying it. Sub uh, subscribe to the channel if you'd like to see more. I'll catch you guys next time. Later.